Hi sovereign beings, today I'm doing my tourist. I'm on my way to the seven sacred pools. So let's see, seven body of water. Let's see if they have water, what I'm gonna find, if I can get inside in some ways, or if it's super small. But let's see how sacred. So you have the beautiful mountains, vortexes over there. Look at this magic. And as a child, a little guy who just told me that there's a cave also nearby. So I'm going to try to look for the cave. Wow, wow, wow. Skim the leaves off. The inside's very similar and consistent. I want to show you what it really looks like but I think that this camera cannot capture or like you can't capture this beauty on video it's impossible but it's deep Ooh, I have to hold this so like my hat's gonna fly away but yeah look at this Ooh, it's deep I'm gonna get close to the edge but look at Of Pachamamita. Like she's truly like embracing us. So magical. So those are the seven sacred pools. I can just see five. As you can see, I wouldn't get in. But uh, yeah. So they are the sacred pools. I'm gonna tap into. Ah, oh, look. They are here, actually. Let's see one, two, three, four, five. Let's go five. <laughs> it's the same. Box. Okay, five. I'm gonna try to locate the two other ones. So this is what it looks like. I don't see any other muddy. pools that way. No. no. Muddy. Maybe there was one there at one time and it dried up. You know. That one used to be a little pool. So I guess this one is the seventh one. And the first at the top was the one that dried up. But yeah, this is what's left. Or if you want a mud bath, maybe you can do something. I'm really curious about touching it. I love touching stuff. This is how I discover. Let me see if I die from this. It doesn't smell like nothing doesn't smell like nothing. I mean, it's just muddy. I wonder how deep though. So I hope you liked it guys. There was no much to see. I was not expecting much from it. But it's still nice. And now I'm going towards the cave. Apparently there's a cave 30 minutes away. So I'm gonna explore the cave and maybe do a little ceremony over there. I'm literally following Google Maps. I hope it leads me to the cave. But look how magical tucked in. I feel so grateful to be in such a beautiful place. Uh, beautiful energetic vortexes all over. This rich history. 
this deep remembrance. So I'm really grateful. Look at this. Going straight. 29 meters. 29 minutes, yeah. We can make it. Easy, easy. To me, 29 minutes is not far. I'm so used to walk a lot. So it's easy, easy hike. So yes, today was really nice because I found a super nice trail when I woke up this morning. I love it. We can just wake up in nature and just going on a hike. And I was so tucked in the forest that I thought for sure we'll be able to put a tent without anyone noticing that we are hidden, you know, behind the trees, the bushes, and such beautiful thing to experience in nature. And having this as a first thought in the morning, being at service, asking permission to be a servant of this love and getting into a routine it's so important to get into a routine getting into a routine that is going to help you to build your strength because so many people they just wake up and get ready and just like get out to go to work but it's important to sit with our feelings to contemplate to be grateful because it's so easy in this reality in this dense reality to feel like we have no purpose or to feel like we need to do we need to be doing something we need to get into an activity in order for us to feel like we are contributing in some ways but we are contributing with our energy the energy that we choose to put out there right to share with people a smile a little comment a little positive comment compliments you know people are not used to receive compliments so in a way it's challenging them to receive compliments to receive more beauty into their being so this is the little talk the little insight that I have for you guys look at this Whew. I'm at the top of the world as always okay I'm talking I'm not looking at the maps and I'm not I went the other direction the opposite direction okay now it's 30 minutes for Google you know Google is not known to be really accurate I hope I'm not gonna be censored for this <laughs> My deep apologies, Google. Okay, back on the trail. Yes, we got this, guys. Got this. This lungs power. Okay, let me see this beautiful light code. Can you see something? heart opening look at this look at the green it's like an arc I feel really activated here it's really really powerful look again the arc it's powerful here way more powerful than the sacred pools over there charging this heart opening yes people i'm sharing this with you live literally guys i found a sacred site no one at sight people are too lazy to come here it's so so beautiful look at this big rock i'm gonna show you because i think it's kind of hard to see look at this the energy is super powerful here. This is literally the entrance of the sacred site because it's really sacred. <sighs> All these light codes. Wow. So you have those rocks 
that are really, really powerful. And let me see. Look at this. The mountains overlooking the sacred site. So I'm 17 minutes away and look, all steep hill, steep hill all the way to the top. Guys, I was going in circle, thank you Google, it was showing 20, 15 minutes and it stayed at 15, 17 minutes. I was like going up for like 20 minutes, so definitely inaccuracy of Google, this is the wrong location and I think there's something that is called sugar loft it's the trailhead that you are supposed to follow because doing it the way I did it is so hard and look it's super 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 high so if you are afraid of height you don't want to do this trail uh, but I'm gonna show you shoes I don't have my hiking shoes but we're gonna be careful but yeah it's gonna go this way all the way around all the way around but it's beautiful it's breathtaking amazing 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 yeah. so I didn't find the cave it just turned out that Google just led me into a big, big circle and I didn't find the cave. I definitely would recommend <laughs> to go on this hike and following Google Maps um, for the Keyhole Cave because uh, nah, like I had to climb, like I climbed rocks, like it was super inclined, <laughs> no rope. Salvaje, savage with my drum. Would I recommend this? I'm not gonna call it a fail because I got to exercise and I got my workout, but yeah, yeah, 40 minutes turn into hours and I have to head back down before sunset. So yeah, but at least you got to see how beautiful it was from the top and uh, we'll take you somewhere to see a cave, an actual cave, really soon.